Hello guys. Hello guys. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo se encuentran? Bueno. ¿Me escuchan? Hi, good evening. Good evening, Brandy. Eh, ¿Se escucha bien o se escucha mal? Ah, uh, it's just so you have to put your microphone yeah, no, near to your mouth. Just give me a second. Speak aloud. Let me try right now. Okay. And right now, can you hear me better? I don't know if you can speak aloud, it would be better. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, good night, everybody. I hope you you are having a great day today. Um, and let me know, how are you today, guys? Are you ready for the class of today? Mm -hmm, maybe, are you ready? You, what about you, Jamie? Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. What about you? I'm ready for the class of today, but yes, um, I'm good. I think I'm ready. It's just I need to fix my camera because I don't know why. I I think I need to re to restart my my Zoom application. Um, try to do it. Uh, because the camera okay. will help us a lot. Okay. Uh, right now, Maximo, how are you today? Okay, creo que Maximo está teniendo problemas. Muy bien, chicos, hemos recibido notificaciones que alrededor del país aún hay zonas remotas, no tanto céntricas, de que está sucediendo tormentas. Por lo tanto, si en dado caso llega a ser el caso de ustedes que llegan a recibir una tormenta en su zona, si tienen dificultades técnicas, háganoslo saber al chat, por favor, de WhatsApp. And well, guys, it's time to start. Today we will start with the pre, uh, with the section number three. For the agenda for today, we will start with the intro intro video that will explain you what will be the aims that we will learn during this section and how to use. It. After that, I will start with the first one. That so it will be proper writing and following intonation in question of a choice. We will learn how to sound more natural at the moment to use question of choice. After that, we will watch a video and continue with will rather and will prefer. Y aquí les dejo una pregunta. How do you invite someone uh, to drink a cup of coffee? ¿Cómo invitarían a alguien a tomar una taza de café? Would you like to take a cup of coffee with me? Sure. I could say, are you free tonight? <laughs> thank you, Brandy, <laughs> and thank you, maybe. Uh, but in this case, uh, the option of maybe would be like. But in this kind of cases, we won't use like. We will use we'll write it. Que nos va a servir para poder tener o tomar una opción entre una cosa u otra. Uh, would you rather to drink a cup of coffee with me or maybe a soda or an ice cream? But if you're not free, you can ask who would you rather. <laughs> so the first step is, are you free? <laughs> Would you rather? <laughs> yes, but right now it's 
time to start. I will play right now the video. Uh, sorry, after that, after verify the wool rider, we will do our first knowledge check. And after that, to finalize a listen exercise. Okay, we'll start right now with our first video. I forgot it. Just give me a second. Ready to watch this new intro video? Try your best to understand what they are talking about. Good luck. From ballet to ballroom and salsa to swing, Learning to dance is one of today's hottest trends, and tango dancing is the hottest of them all. Tango fever has spread all over the world. Hi, I'm Kevin Kane, and once a month, people come here to the Weeks Bridge in Cambridge, Massachusetts to learn tango. Hi, how's your tango lesson going? Oh, it's super fun. So why did you decide to take a tango class? I was just interested in dancing. And a lot of our friends come here. What's the best way to improve your dancing? Just by going to a tango club. And by practicing hard. Too. How did you learn to dance? By coming to class. And why did you decide to take tango lessons? Because I wanted to keep fit and have fun at the same time. Well, I took some lessons and I come here to practice. So what's a good way to improve your dancing? By practicing with a guy. But you have to find a good partner. Now we're going to talk to a tango instructor, Uche. Hi. Hi. Why do you think tango is so popular? I think tango is popular because it's very exotic and it's also very challenging for people. And once people learn something that they find challenging and it's very exotic, I think they feel very rewarded. Step six, back, collect, seven, and then instead of collecting, you actually switch your weight. What do you recommend for people who want to learn tango? I would recommend starting with group classes or private classes. And after you've learned the basics of tango, what's a good way to improve your moves? By going out dancing with the people that you've taken the lessons with, practicing at home, listening to the music, just feeling very comfortable with the music, and then going out dancing again. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How long have you been coming here? I've been coming here for about six years. Why? Because I love tango. And what is it about tango that you love so much? I think it's got great rhythm. I think it's got passion. It's a fun type of dance. Do you have any advice for people who want to learn to tango? A lot of people don't think they can dance until they get out here and try it. I think dancing starts by taking the initiative. Take a class. Do you prefer taking lessons in a studio or going out somewhere like this? I prefer going out and dancing. There's a different energy. It's more social. But there's nothing wrong with taking lessons. I recommend it. Why do you think tango is so popular? You can grow into it. You let your body move to the music and you create a dance with someone. And it's relaxing once you learn it. Do you have any advice for people who want to learn tango? It depends on how you learn. Some people learn best by taking classes. I learn best by watching and listening to the music and then getting brave and trying it a little. You know, learn by doing and practicing. Okay, I'm ready to take the plunge. How do I get started? It's not too difficult. Take this arm up behind my back. Put this one up. Now just start walking. That's perfect. <laughs> Try step to the side. Good. And then step back. Now side again. Hey, this is a lot of fun. You should try it. This is Kevin, actually dancing tango from the Weeks Bridge in Cambridge, Massachusetts. <laughs> Okay, 
guys, let me ask it to you. Do you like dance? I like to dance, but I can't. So do I. Okay, <laughs> guys. Um, now let me know. Do you have any interesting idea about the video or phrase? What? Do you have any interesting idea about the video or phrase that you learned that is new for you? Yeah, it's uh, with... There are many things that we learn here that they use this word like, I prefer. Mm -hmm. I prefer to take a classes in private. I prefer to take a classes in group. I prefer to. Thank you. Uh, someone else wants to share some uh, another idea, guys? Yes, I think. Dancing tango looks looks interesting and fun. I think we can we can relax when if if we dance tango. At least that was the idea that I had when I saw the when I watched the video. Thank and you. it looks like uh -huh. the tango dancing is very popular. Yes. Uh, yes. But what was one of the advice that one of the girls says at the moment to practice tango with someone else? I remember one, the girl says that uh, dancing tango is very, very fun and very interesting, but she prefers to have a, a good partner to learn better, to learn better than herself, by herself. Yes, and you know why? It's because uh, if you don't have a good partner at the moment to dance in tango, uh, you will receive many stump on you. Stump, pisadas, or pisoteadas. Okay, uh, well guys, <clears throat> I can see that uh, you really Pay attention on this video, but for that reason, we will continue with this. Do you know? Uh, okay, first of all, I will need a volunteer to read this part. Who can help, me, please? Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Okay, I'm maybe. sorry. Go ahead. In this class, participants will learn how to make the proper rising and falling intonation in question of choice. Thank you, Marina. If you remember in a couple of months ago, uh, we learned how to use rising or falling intonation and when we use yes and no question and ask for info, more info about some questions. Well, today we will learn how to use intonation and question of choice. To understand better how to use this and how to manage our tone of voice, please pay attention on this video. Hi, making the right intonation will help you sound natural when speaking. We want you to notice the intonation in questions of choice. Listen and practice. Listen and practice. Notice the intonation in questions of choice. Would you rather take broadcasting or economics? Would you rather study fashion or hospitality? Would you prefer to play the guitar or the violin? Do you prefer to study in the day or at night? Okay, guys. Or the violin. First of all, I need to share this. The software to use will be rather. It will be, first of all, the model verse will. 
and this plus subject and then rather plus fair plus complement plus plus this is uh, sorry plus question this is the structure Obviously, the complement can be divided in a different pieces. How we can notice that in this? If you see, model there, subject, rather, fair base form. And this one, it will be the complement, but the complement has to be divided into pieces. Option one and option two. Always, always the rising intonation has to be in the first one, in the first option. And the follow and the falling has to be at the end in the second one. What would be an example? Okay, guys, uh, would you rather take the listening activity for today or are we in practice? Another example it could be, would you rather drink water or soda? You have to make an stress word here in this one at the beginning. Muy bien. Lo diré en español, chicos, para que no quepa la menor duda. Para poder ocupar el wood water, la estructura va a ser siempre wood subject then rather or prefer but in este caso cuando como su rather would be based from there and after that the complement the complement would be option one or the option two otras palabras pues opción uno opción dos ahora bien que hay sobre el prefer el prefer va a tener la misma estructura con la única diferencia que después de prefer we will add the infinity to would you prefer to play the guitar would you prefer to listen would you prefer uh, to go to the bar etc 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 pero va a ser la misma entonación que vamos a ocupar tanto en la primera opción como en la segunda doubts or question guys no are you sure guys let me see your face do you have any doubt or question guys no, bueno, muy bien, guys. Vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Voy a poner nuevamente la imagen que tenemos en pantalla y necesitaré que ustedes me hagan dos ejemplos basándose en la estructura que ven ahí. Pueden ocuparlo cualquier ejemplo que ustedes gusten. Si quieren ocupar opciones de salida, opciones de comida, opciones para beber, opciones sobre cualquier actividad, hagan. Les daré cinco minutos para que me hagan, perdón, para que hagan esos dos ejemplos. So they would rather, and another two for will prefer, will prefer. And after that, we will practice for intonation. Well, <clears throat> right now, I will share again the structure here. And the time starts right now. Remember, whatever doubt or question, you can ask.
Okay, guys. Let me know. Let me see some exercise, some example here. Okay, right now, has been already done every everyone? Everyone has been already done or do you need more time? Sí, creo que todos ya terminaron. Muy bien, en ese caso, Raúl, can you help us please? Yeah, teacher, tell me. Okay, can you read your first example that you place on the chat, please? Would you would you rather to walk or to roam? Thank you, Raul. Okay, first of all, it's time to verify the, <clears throat> the grammar of this sentence. Okay, let me know something, Raul, before, uh, do you do you change something in this question before submit it or not? ¿Cambiaría usted algo en esta sentence, señor Raul? Would you rather to go or to room? Uh, Maybe go. Um, no, teacher. Mm. Muy bien. Ahí escuchamos que Randy decía maybe go. <laughs> because I realized that in the grammar focus, I, I realized that in the second verb is on the base form. I know I don't know if I if I go wrong, but would you rather go to walk or run? Hmm? Not two in the last part. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. This is another thing that we have to change. Would you rather go to walk or run? Muy bien. Por qué? Fijémonos nuevamente en esto. Si se fija aquí, cuando ocupamos Google Rather, no ocupamos el to. Google Place. El verbo en forma base. Esto es cuando ocupamos Rather. Entonces, yo sé que ahorita está preguntando ese señor Jesús. Bueno, ¿y en qué momento voy a poner el to? Ah, muy bien. I don't understand nothing. It's just I can't hear you. Sorry, speak aloud. Okay, everyone has the same issues. Yeah, you you speak a little. You, low, you low. Low. Okay. Uh, can you listen me better? Yes. <laughs> okay, I try to say that we use. Ok, perdón. Ok, le explicaba Raúl. Sí. De que el tú lo ocupamos solo cuando vamos a ocupar a I will, es will you prefer. Rather. Exacto. ¿Por qué? Porque cuando ocupamos el rather, vamos a poner en forma base nuestro verbo y luego pondremos nuestras dos opciones. Ahora bien, tiene que ir el sigue la opción con ing después del primer verbo, no siempre. Mire el segundo ejemplo aquí. Va en base. Eso va a depender. Ahora, volviendo a su ejemplo. Aquí vamos a poner el primer verbo. Porque no podemos solo caminar, podemos ir a caminar. A menos que usted diga, I'm walking. Ahí sí, pero aquí, I would you rather go to walk or 
equal to run, podríamos poner. O run, en algún caso. Pero, or go to run. Así sería. Ahora, inténtelo leer esto, Raúl, porque lo que más me importa, aparte de la grammar, es saber cómo expresarlo. Recuerde, hacer un poquito de fuerza aquí. Que se escuche como un sonado hacia arriba y el go to run hacia abajo. Would you rather go to walk or go to room? Perfect, Raúl. You did a great job. Oh. It's time to verify who else will be the first participant, uh, the next participant. Okay. After Raul, I can see Brandy. Can you prepare with your example, please? Okay. Would you rather drink a coffee or tea? Oh. Would you prefer to go to the beach or a river? Thank you. Okay, we'll start with the first one. Do you change something here? Cambiaría algo usted? Drink. Drink tea. Drink tea. No. A cup of coffee or cup okay. of coffee. Yes. The letter A. No. Maybe has the answer. A cup, cup of, of coffee. Because you cannot drink the coffee. You can okay. drink the coffee. You can prepare the coffee. But you cannot drink the coffee. You can drink a cup of coffee. Tiene lleva al, al final. Por capa fin. Uh -huh. uh, the letter A is missing too. Sí. Thank you. You're welcome. Excellent. Ahora, can you read again? Would you rather drink a cup of coffee or a cup of tea? Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Who would be the next one? Okay. Mm -hmm. Would you prefer to go to the beach or the river? Mm -hmm. Estoy viendo las de el señor Raúl. The chair in sample. Dígame. Hello. Sí, le escucho. Example is uh, uh, Were you perfect play soccer or basketball? Hmm. Would you rather play soccer or Basketball. It's a good example. You perfect play soccer or basketball. Okay, la vamos a escribir. My example. <laughs> okay, would you rather? It will be like this. Where is your perfect play? Soccer or basketball? Mm. Ah, ok. En este caso, señor Jaime, Jaime, ahí lo que está preguntando es algo distinto. Ahí no sería wow, o sea, sería, what is your perfect uh, game? Soccer or basketball. 
y le ponemos siempre así. Ahora bien, esta es una opción más cerrada. Aquí le está preguntando cuál es. No le está dando una opción. Ahora bien, imagínese esto, señor Jaime. Usted va saliendo de su trabajo el día viernes y está con todos sus, sus amigos y le pregunta a sus amigos, ¿quieren ir a jugar fútbol o quieren ir a jugar básquet? ¿Cómo lo preguntaría? ¿Cómo lo haría, señor Jaime? Uh, do you game play soccer or basketball? Mm, no, pero está cerca. Aquí vamos a ocupar lo que estamos viendo ahorita. Vamos a ocupar esto, mire. Dame... Would you prefer? Exacto, Julissa. Vamos a ocupar wow. Este auxiliar es el que vamos a ocupar. Porque este es como cuando tú le quieres pedir como la opinión o la opción a la persona. Como lo dijimos hace, al inicio. ¿Cómo invitarías a alguien a tomar una taza de té? Dijo, maybe, hey, would you like to drink a cup of tea? En este caso, tú lo puedes decir así. Would you rather play soccer or basketball? Hey guys, would you rather play soccer or basketball? Así sería otro ejemplo. Ahora bien, guys, vamos a ver al ejemplo de alguien más, porque si quiero, he estado viendo varios con el señor eh, Raúl. Voy a examinar los ejemplos eh, más adelante, porque si hay uno que quiero verificarlo, pero antes vamos a ver mm, excelente ejemplo señorita Yulisa mm, Vanessa Vanessa, can you help us please? Vanessa Okay. creo que Vanessa le dio un poquito de pena o está teniendo problemas con su internet. Ajá. Muy bien. Antes de continuar, guys, ¿ustedes cambiarían algo en este sentence? The second... Would you like rather go to the park or to the cinema? Or go to the cinema. Exactly. It's missing. It's missing a pair. Also. Or go to the cinema. It's okay. Ahora. Está bien. O cambiarían algo más. Question mark. <laughs> Ajá. Ahora bien, seamos un poquito más eh, serios. ¿Cambiarían algo más aquí? I, I prefer to say, would you rather go to the park or the cinema? Yes, only. Only that. Uh, because the examples is not necessary to repeat the verb. Or would you would you rather go to the park or cinema? Mm -hmm. We can do that, but the things that I change it would be this lowercase. Try to change. Try to avoid use hypercase in the middle. O sea, mayúsculas, el uso de las mayúsculas. Si ¿Sí podemos venir, hey, would you like to go to the park or to the cinema? ¿Podemos decirlo así? 
or the cinema. En este caso lo podemos omitir. Pero, con respecto a las mayúsculas, no podemos poner un you así aquí. No, chicos. Aquí tenemos que poner este tipo de you. Y cinema, el cinema es el cine. No tiene que ir con una C mayúscula. Las únicas que van a ir con mayúsculas serán nombres y al inicio y después de un punto. Ahora bien, hay excepciones, sí. Y una de las más grandes excepciones es esto. Hay. Siempre que nos refiramos a nosotros, se vamos a ocupar mayúscula. Pero será el único sujeto al que vamos a ocupar mayúscula. De ahí, a menos que sea un nombre propio. Ahora, Máximo uso este excelente ejemplo. Y con esto pasamos al siguiente tema. Máximo, can you help us, please? Máximo. Eh, I cannot listen to you. Eh, creo que desconecte el audífono y vuelvo a lo conectar. Puede hacer eso. Good evening. Ah, oh, sí. Ya la escucho. Ok. Sí. Ok. ¿Puede leer eso, por favor? Would you rather eat pizza or pasta? It's ok. You read good. But try to, try to place an intonation here. Okay. Would you rather eat, eat pizza or pasta? Exacto. Lo hizo bien. Inténtelo leerlo una vez más. Would you rather eat pizza or pasta? Excelente. Muy bien, eh, Máximo. Usted lo está leyendo bien. Tiene una muy buena pronunciación. Solo... Relajémonos un poquito más. Relajémonos. Cuídalo. Would you, rather to eat, would you rather eat pizza or pasta? Would you rather eat pizza or pasta? Excelente. A ese grado. Muy bien. Le agradezco, señor Máximo, su participación y la de todos. Han hecho un excelente trabajo. Perdón si no eh, tomé a los demás para poder hacer otro tipo de ejemplos. Pero... Es necesario continuar, guys. Según nuestra agenda, tenemos lo siguiente que hacer. We will discuss this one. How to express choice using would rather or would prefer. Ya aprendimos, guys, cómo venir y preguntar. Ahora bien. ¿Cómo vamos a responder? Veamos este video para poder entender cómo. Nice to have you back. In this section you will learn how to use would rather and would prefer. Both are used for choices. Stay around, play the audio program and try to identify the difference between those two. Would rather and would prefer. Would rather takes the base form of the verb. Would prefer usually takes an infinitive. Both are followed by not in the negative. Would you rather take a media class or a health class? I'd rather take a media class. I'd rather not take either. I'd rather take another course than study media or health. Would you prefer to study film studies or broadcasting? I'd prefer to study film. I'd prefer not to study either. Let's join a choir. I'd rather not join a choir. I'd rather not. I'd prefer not to join a choir. I'd prefer not to. I will begin with this explanation telling you the would rather and would prefer mean the same thing. As we already told you, but we want to be emphatic, both are used with choices. In case you didn't identify the difference between those two, we will explain it now so you see there's a slight difference in their structure. Would rather plus not 
plus base form of verb. I rather learn English than German. I'd rather not study at night. Would prefer plus not plus infinitive. I'd prefer to learn English. I'd prefer not to study on weekends. Note, both are followed by not in the negative form. And just in case you're wondering how to answer in short form, this is how. I'd rather or I'd rather not. And if you're using prefer, this is how to answer properly. I'd prefer to, I'd prefer not to. Ready to make choices? Would you rather take online classes or in-person classes? Would you prefer to study at night or in the morning? Type your answers on our discussion box. Would rather plus not. Okay, guys. Uh, first of all, I would like to know is this. <clears throat> and when we express the negative, a, a sentence using would rather or would prefer, we got a little difference in them. In the first one, it's like all the modal verbs. You have to place not after the modal verb. But when you use would prefer, you have to place not before the modal verb but after not, you have to add to. Lo voy a decir en español. Ok, chicos. Cuando ocupamos el Google Rather es como ocupar otro modal verb. Siempre va a ir el not después y después va a ir el verbo en base form. Pero cuando ocupamos el prefer to, no. El prefer to es como que hiciera una pequeña división. Poner primero prefer and then prefer then not and after the not va a poner el to tal como lo podemos ver aquí a ver aquí y después del tu obviamente vamos a poner todo lo demás ahora bien como puedo venir y expresar yes or no question using I would rather or I would prefer de esta forma Perdón por mis círculos aformes, chicos. Pero sí, de esta forma lo podemos hacer. Y puedo usar esta forma. Ok. Like here. ¿Cómo? I would rather not to join. Or I would rather not. O, yes, I would rather. Bien. Quiero preguntarle. ¿Alguna duda sobre el video? ¿Cómo ocupar el negative statement? Muy bien. Si no hay ninguna Teacher, duda, dígame. Eh, we can use either only with the answer is negative. Mm, either. Vamos a ver. ¿Cuál either? Disculpa. Either at the end, I prefer ah. to study, uh, not to study either. Okay. Esto es como, either es como, yo tampoco. Es como cuando te dice. Neither do I. Uh -huh. Suponte que te dice Brandy. Hey, uh, I would rather take another course than uh, study medi, media or health. Si tú vienes y le dices, ah, I prefer not to study either. O como le estoy diciendo, yo preferiría tampoco estudiar eso. Es como el, yo tampoco. No necesariamente lo tienes que agregar. Lo puedes omitir si su, tú solo quieres dar eh, tu opinión de que no prefieres estudiar eso. Bien. ¿Qué pasa si tú quieres hacer una comparación sobre algo? O sea, como en la anterior. Como quiere decir, ah, preferiría hacer esto que lo otro. Bueno, vamos a ocupar Dan. Ahora, 
quedando aclarado esto. Otra pregunta. ¿Dudas o consultas, guys? No. Muy bien, vamos a responder las dos preguntas que dice la Miss Adiós en este video. Would you, would you prefer to study at night or in the morning? Ok, guys. Tienen dos minutos para contestar esa questions. Go ahead. Si ya la tienen, dígame su answer. Did you dare repeat the question, please? It's here in the video. Would you prefer to study at night or in the morning? Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Just two minutes, guys. I prefer to study at night. I would like... I would like prefer to study at night. Thank no, the respondency. I remember it's I would rather study at night. It means I would like. I would rather. Okay. Perfect. Creo que usted fue la que dijo eso si no me equivoqué. Muy eh. <clears throat> Ahora bien, vamos a ver quién más, quién más. ¿Alguien más I quiere dar su answer? Me. Uh -huh. I prefer to study in the morning. Perfecto. Ahora bien. In my case, I would, I would rather study at night than in the morning. Easy for me. Ahora... Respondamos la segunda. Okay. Or in the morning. Type your answers. On are this rather take online classes or would you rather take online classes or in person classes? I would rather take Hola. online classes. Hola. Hola, Thomas. Thank you, Marina. What about you, Brandy? So yeah. I would rather take online classes. Thank you. What about the rest, guys? I rather, I rather take uh, in classes in person. Ah, face to face. Thank you. Me too. I will. I would rather take in person classes. Thank you, Julita. I can see that you did a great job, guys. I am so proud cool of you. Muy bien, guys. Hemos casi finalizado la agenda para este día. Solo nos quedan los nobles check. El noble check que tenemos es algo extenso, por lo tanto no lo haremos este día. Pero qué sí haremos. Muy bien, haremos nuestra práctica del reading. Pero antes de continuar a nuestra práctica del reading, quiero saber, ¿tienen dudas o consultas sobre los temas que hemos visto? ¿Creen que necesitan apoyo en algún tema en específico, guys? Gracias, Brandy. What about the rest? Señorita, señorita Jamie, señor Jaime Rodríguez, señor Máximo. ¿Creen que necesitan apoyo en algún tema en específico de los que ya hemos visto? No, teacher. Muy bien, señor Roberto, señorita Maybe, señor Raúl. I, I need help in, in the thing of passive with prepositions. Passive with prepositions. Passive with prepositions. Position. Okay. Muy bien. 
necesita eh, passive voice y también el preposition, me comento, ¿correcto? Correcto. ¿Alguien más? Muchas gracias, señor Raúl. ¿Alguien más tiene algún otro eh, tema? Muy bien, no hay ningún For me, no, teacher. Perfect. Muy bien, Yancy, ya que usted fue la valiente del día de ayer, dígame, ¿quién quiere que sea nuestra víctima del día de hoy? Uh, sí. Julissa Beatriz. Julissa, ¿cuál fue su número que usted escogió? Four and fourteen. Ok. Try to read the skills to here. Ok. When an astronomer discovers one of these he does not give it a name, but only a number. He may call it, for example, asteroid 325 telescope. I have serious reason to believe that the planet from which the little prince came is the asteroid known as B612. This asteroid has only once been seen through the telescope. That was by a Turkish astronomer in 1999. Astronom Turk. On making his discovery, the astronomer had presented in it to the International Astronomical Congress in a great demonstration. But he was in Turkish custom, and Sonabari will believe what he said. That's for you, Yulisa, and congratulations. You do have a good pronunciation and a good uh, fluent. Also, uh, your information is very, very nice. Ahora, can you pronounce this for? Uh, my? I don't know. <laughs> Mike. It's Mike. Mike. Ahora. Cuando encontremos así, numeritos así, procuremos leerlos corridos. We can say three to five, but the best way to say it is 325. As the same in this. Big six hundred twelve. Y en este hay dos formas que lo puedes mencionar. La primera, eh, la tradicional es one thousand nine hundred nine. Y la otra es nineteen o nine. Son las únicas dos, bueno. Sí, dos cosas que puedo venir y, y, y darle como eh, un advice o un input, porque lo demás lo hizo excelente. Perfecto. Le pregunto, ¿practicó usted su lectura? A little. <ríe> Se notó. Yes. Ahora bien, nos quedan dos minutos. ¿A alguien le gustaría practicar un pedacito de lectura antes de terminar? Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. Me. Okay, Marina. What are the numbers that you choose? Mm, five. I think. Okay, the number. Five. 
because we got a, a short time you will rest it. Okay. The information will come very slowly as, as it might change to fall from his through. In, it was in this way that I heard on the third day about the catastrophe of the blue boys. This time, once more, I have the ship to thank for it. Thank you, Marina. You did a great job. This one is a name. It's a name of a tree. And the pronoun is Bauba. Bauba. And this one is thought. Oh. Thought. Thought. Okay, guys. You did a great job. Thank you, Marina. That's for you too. Ahora, guys. Eh, lamento mucho los importinios con el con el audio. Procuraré comprar nuevos audífonos mañana para pues poder tener una clase mejor el día de mañana. Eh, les agradezco su participación y que estén en, a tiempo. Se los agradezco aún más. Y quiero saber pues cómo van con la plataforma antes de irnos. ¿Están trabajando en ella? Yes, sí. yes, teacher. Yes, yes, teacher. Yes, yes, teacher. Yes. Perfecto. En este caso necesito que hagan lo siguiente. Necesito, teacher, dígame. Yo, no, yo no le encuentro la respuesta a la, a la 2.2 y allí estoy. Eh, ya la mandé un montón de veces y siempre me da rojito. Ya se la voy a mandar. <ríe> no Gracias. se preocupe, ya, ya le voy a echar una mano también yo. Ese sería en la sección 2.2. Correcto. Correcto. Sí. No se preocupe, ya eh, verificaré eso igual, eh, señor Raúl. Eh, yo le enviaré ahorita pues un par de cositas. Bueno, al menos sobre hablar sobre los ejemplos que puso para aclararle dudas sobre ese tema muchas gracias de nada ahora bien gracias por todo guys eh, recuerden esta mañana tiempo y por favor avancen si ya lo hicieron hasta el 3.5 ya llegaron ahí que la mayoría está ahí procuren llegar al menos al 3.9 el día de mañana repasen también su lectura porque si nos queda chance nuevamente vamos a practicarla mañana see you tomorrow guys Bye bye. See you tomorrow, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Good night. Bye, bye teacher. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 B